Hey guys, this is Kill the Bits. Um, haven't been on here in a couple weeks, so I want to kind of review what, what I went over with you last video. Um, last video I kind of talked about us, uh, you know, internal rhymes in your in your rhyme schemes, um, in your raps. You know, you really want to make sure that you do that. I know you guys probably been practicing that since I last um, talked to you guys. So um, just make sure that you keep doing that. Uh, internal rhymes are key, and make sure that you keep practicing your vocabulary. Um, if you want to be a great rapper, that's definitely key. Okay, today, what I want to talk about is we are going to talk about the production side of uh, hip hop and rap. Okay, now <clears throat> the biggest part of this, the biggest portion, is how do you get yourself out there and how do you produce yourself? Well, you can do one of two things. Okay, you can freestyle rap in battles. Or you can do a mixtape, okay? I personally, uh, I'm going to go with the mixtape idea for right now, okay? So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to show you, I'm going to go through a couple of things that you need to do to create a mixtape, okay? Now guys, <clears throat> when you're creating a mixtape, you, you want to market yourself to so make sure that you have, um, you know, make sure you have a good, make sure you have a good catchy um, theme. Not, we don't really have a, have a theme for a new mixtape, but you have to, to have like, you know, make sure that you market your name correctly, um, and you want to make sure that you make a cut of a good cover, okay, like a good cover for the CD or mixtape, okay, and a good catchy name. Um, I think the way like, the last one that Lil Wayne came out with, if I'm not mistaken, was I'm Sorry, okay, um, that was that was his mixtape. So, <clears throat> what what I want you to do is you need to come up with a good name for your mixtape and also a good cover. But before you do that. We need to discuss content of your mixtape and who are you marketing to. Okay. Now, if you're like a punchline MC, um, you're gonna market yourself as a punchline MC. Like I'm a punchline MC, and I'm most of the time I'm, I'm venting when I when I do my stuff. You know, when I like when I when I rap, I'm venting all my emotion on that track. So you want to make sure that if you're like a happy, you're lucky, yeah. But you're not putting "I want to kill people" on my mixtape. You know what I mean? You wanna, you wanna kind of fill yourself out. You wanna fill your flow, and you wanna make sure that 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 is projected in your in your mixtape. Okay? So what you wanna do <clears throat> now? First of all, you need to find beats. Okay? Now there's a couple ways of doing this. Okay? Mixtapes. The most accepted thing to do for mixtapes is to find an instrumental that has already been played. Okay? And use that. That's what most people do. However, this can be tricky on a couple occasions because you are using people's beats and their copyrighted materials. Okay? So, yeah, a lot of people use them, and most people don't care if you use them as long as you're not selling them, but it is copyrighted. So, you know, just keep that in mind when you're doing this kind of stuff that you're using somebody else's copyrighted material. It could come back to bite you. All right. So, <clears throat> if you're gonna use those, then uh, you know that's great. Type in, you know, go to like, I think there's a karaoke.com or something that you. That's pretty good. Um, you can go to YouTube.com and use like an MP3 converter to do those. Just type in what song you want and the instrumental. Now, if you want to use, like, if you want to have like custom beats, this is gonna be a little bit harder. Okay. The reason it's going to be harder is because you got to find somebody that's willing to put your, to put your, um, you know, to let you rap over their beat. You got to have somebody to produce your beat and somebody to, uh, you know, put you out there and willing to give you a chance. The best way to do this is either go to Facebook, MySpace, some kind of social networking site. Say, hey guys, you know, look around, see if you can find somebody, talk to somebody, talk to somebody, talk to anybody you can. To see if you can get some uh, somebody to give you a chance, okay. This is really difficult. I've been trying this myself, and it's not that easy. Um, but it, it can be done, okay. Second way of doing this is you can go to forums. You can type in what is near music that you're wanting to do, and you can type in, uh, you know, see if there's any producers on there that are willing to give you a shot. Um, a lot of times, if you're in the forums and you're asking questions, this is what these are made for. So. Um, you know, they're looking for talent. They're looking for people that they can they can use and that 
basically you're being there to be, you know, to, to see if, if they can help somebody, and you're going to see if you can use somebody to help you, because you're trying to make it, um, and that's just basically it, okay, um, <clears throat> make sure that when you make a mixtape that it's not, uh, overly powered, um, for, make sure that it's in your generic music, make sure that you're not going towards something that's completely different, um, make sure that you have a general feel to your mixtape, don't be like, um, I mean, you know, it's a mixtape, so make sure that it's a good mix, but don't be jumping from, like, heavy metal to, like, uh, you know, gospel quartet stuff, unless it's really, unless it really fits well with the mixtape. Everything has to fit well and flow well, but all, like I said, it is a mixtape, so it's mixed, okay? Um, you just want to make sure that everything flows well, make sure that the mixtape flows well, and make sure that it sounds good, people. Um, you can put it out quantity over quality every day, okay? I mean, I say this all the time because I don't say it enough, but people always put out a lot of stuff. If you rap a lot, you can put out a lot of stuff, but the thing that it is is it's not quality stuff, it's quantity. Um, if you slow down, put some quality stuff out there, it's definitely going to pay off. Um, so guys, just keep that in mind when you're making those. Like I said, the next time I get on here, I guess more going to talk about, you know, freestyling, how you can get in ciphers. Um, I know that some people are probably wondering how you do that. Um, if you're in a big area like um, Detroit, Chicago, um, Los Angeles, Miami, Orlando even, um, you're probably not going to have much of a problem getting in a cipher. Okay? If you're in a rural area like me, um, it's a little bit more difficult to do so. Um, not only do you have to drive, but you have to, most of the time in a rural area, you have to sign up. Which, you know, in some major cities you do, but you can usually walk on the street and have some kind of cipher. I don't recommend that for a couple reasons, but we'll get into that a little bit later on. Um, but for right now, what I want you guys to do, just make sure that you, uh, you know, keep practicing your internal rhyming, keep practicing your words. If you're working on a mixtape, that's great. Use use instrumentals as my best, is my best advice. But like I said, um... You know, you can't. You got to be careful because that is copyrighted information. Just make sure that you're, um, make sure that you're prepared to face the consequences of copyright material. Okay, like I said, most people don't care, but there are some out there that actually give a rat's ass. Okay, um, so let's just keep that in mind. And as always, guys, this has been Killabits, and I'll see you later.